Bangkok is arguably the food capital in Thailand and we've seen a lot of delicious street food and culinary delights so far on this channel but what about food that you can order online what about takeaways and what about food that you order on Instagram Today we're going to be exploring the options that are available here in Bangkok and that all have been advertised to me through targeted ads on my Instagram. We're going to be trying vegan fish and chips, Wagyu burgers and barbecue short ribs that have been smoked for 15 days and look like they've crashed through the atmosphere onto planet Earth. <laughs> Also, is it worth the astronomical prices that some of these foods are set at? Because they're not cheap. So let's explore Instagram food in Bangkok and let me know in the comments what you think. Is it incredible or is it just Instagram hype? You can be the judge. Okay, so this is the first takeaway. <laughs> and um, so this comes from a company called Super B Barbecue and it's run by an Michelin star chef and now they do a takeaway premium service now I have to tell you that this is by far the most expensive thing that we're gonna eat on this video this set me back 4,500 baht so it's not cheap but it's extremely delicious looking anyway well it sold me on the Instagram ad anyway so and look to be fair look look how it's come it comes in this nice bag it says dear Paddy enjoy your barbecue and it's got the, the couple who, who make it. Now, I don't know if they cook it in their house. It didn't come very far. We were able to track the delivery. So it's made in sort of the Prom Prong Sukhumvit area. We've got a nice looking salad with some peanuts. We've got, what's this? This smells nice. Pasta? No, mashed potato. <laughs> That's a big mashed potato. Now this is the additional extra. This is the, I think it's mushroom pasta. Uh, yeah, mushroom pasta with, um, I'm not quite sure what it looks like, black pepper. And then, this is like a Christmas hamper. <laughs> what do we have in here? We have some bread, <laughs> some toast, yeah, but we don't have a sharp knife to cut that. Sauces, we have three types of sauces. We have superb barbecue sauce, homemade. Then there's another one, and then there's a salad dressing for the salad. Okay, now this is the main attraction. This is so heavy. So in here is, look at this, it's like opening a fresh pair of Nikes. Oh look, there's some pickled cucumbers. There's some pickled jalapenos or peppers. Right, so, oh, okay, there's another package. <laughs> the suspense is killing it. So this is the barbecue. Uh, beef short rib. So yeah, it's been smoked for 15 hours and as you can see it's almost it looks like it's burnt It looks like it's been fried through the atmosphere and crash landed on earth oh, It's just gonna fall off the bone isn't it? It's just been cooked for so long Wow. Look at this That's beautiful. Whoa, look how thick that is And the smell. It's like as thick as my thumb Look you can see the the bone just falls off <laughs> It just falls away. <laughs> so I haven't done a very good job because I'm not a butcher and I don't know what I'm doing with a, a bread knife. But uh, as you can see here, the meat just looks so tender. It's so thick. It's as thick as a burger with the bun, but it's all meat. And the bones have just fallen out. Like there's no point. I can just literally pull them out. So it looks and smells delicious, but how does it taste? I always thought eating the burnt part of toast or the burnt part of anything would give you cancer. That's what my mum said. Do they say that in Thailand? Yeah, they do. Okay. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to eat the burnt part here because I think that's the whole point, isn't it? It's been smoked for 15 hours. Super juicy. Let's try it. I've never had beef like this. I've never had a barbecue like this. Normally, I mean, being British, we don't know what we're doing with barbecue. It's a bit greasy though. That's what I think. Maybe it's just because it's a lot of fat in this area. What I might do is I might try and cut the grease away with the hot spicy barbecue sauce. We'll try it now. Mm. Right, so that's how you eat this, babe. The meat is inc incredible. A little bit greasy just where I was eating it before because it was right next to the bone. But once you drizzle this really nice smoky barbecue sauce and be generous with it, thankfully they gave us two tubs. <laughs> 
it just all comes together. The sweet, smoky barbecue sauce, the soft, incredibly slow cooked beef, short rib, come together and thankfully we'll eat the salad, we'll have the pasta, we'll get some bowls out, we'll have a proper dinner, a glass of wine and we'll let you know at the end was it worth the 4,500 baht and uh, what are we going to give it out of 10. So yeah that was the barbecue ribs, very luxurious but a little bit overpriced if you ask me but I'll give you my full review at the end of the video but let's get cracking on with the next dish. Okay, it's our second night, this way, this way. <laughs> and we've ordered Wagyu burgers from Instagram. And the company or the kitchen or the restaurant is called Butcher King. It was another example of Instagram ads. So, okay, so we've ordered two Wagyu burgers with fries. So, nice and hot, which is good. Nice big fries. Let's just have a cheeky little fries because I'm so hungry. Mmm. So the fries are a little bit like Burger King fries actually, but just a bit thicker, a bit nicer. By the way, we're not doing this every single night of the week. We're doing this once a week, so this video is going to be filmed over a few weeks because I'm trying to lose some weight and this is definitely not um, a healthy option. So okay, now it's time for the... <laughs> the main course. Look at the size of this. Oh wow. Oh, it's double patty. Look at the way the cheese is just oozing out of this. Let's cut it. All right. How about that? It smells amazing. It smells like it has burger sauce, which is just ketchup and mayonnaise. Here we go. Mm. So you can see that even though it is a burger patty, it's almost like beef brisket. It's almost like Wagyu brisket. It's very slow cooked, extremely delicious. Probably the best burger I've had in Bangkok easily. Um, it does taste as good as it looks. And um, couple it with the fries. Good to go. Okay, this is the last takeaway. Now this is from Nature's Charm. It's a vegan cafe on Soy 29. It's a lovely looking restaurant. You can sit down and have the meals there, but we saw them through Instagram ads. I got this incredible ad that told me about vegan fish and chips. Now being British, fish and chips is one of our national dishes, and I've never even heard of vegan fish and chips, let alone tasted it. We checked out the Instagram page. The food looked incredible. And so we've ordered two fish and chip lunches, and I think this is a little sweet vegan dessert, so we'll check that out in a minute. So this is 390 baht for a fish and chips, so it's quite expensive, about 12, 13 US dollars. And they look amazing, don't they? Wow, that smells amazing. So it comes with mushy peas, which are my favorite thing ever. So just peas mushed with a little bit of vinegar, and then it comes with some vegan, Tartar sauce, that smells incredible. So obviously it's not made of fish, it's made of banana flower plant. So you know when you see a banana tree and you see that big purple flower? <laughs> they somehow make that into the fish meat. Doesn't have a fishy smell, obviously, but the texture looks quite similar. So let's try it just on its own. Mm. This is going to be really hard to explain. It doesn't taste like fish, obviously, but they have this herb that they've infused the stringy flour with that is almost fishy, almost like anchovy paste or something, but obviously it can't be because it's vegan. If you think about all of the meat that we've eaten on this video, the Wagyu beef and the crazy barbecue ribs, I think this is actually my favorite. <laughs> Okay, that's all of the food. There are a lot more options that we could do, but I am on a diet and we've been doing one a week. I just thought, you know, this is enough food for this video. And if you like this kind of thing, smash like and we'll do some more of these videos in the future. I just don't think that the barbecue ribs were worth the money. 
especially if you're just having a sit down meal at your home with a friend. However, if you were going to a party and you wanted to show up with a lot of food and share with four or five, maybe six people, I think it's enough. With the mash, with the pasta, and obviously the huge amount of meat, it was a bit too much. And for me, when I have a lot of food in front of me, it makes me feel a little bit, a little bit greedy, a little bit sick, and I never finish it, and I never really fully enjoy a meal. So its only downside, really, was that it was way too big, but I think that comes with the price point. The Wagyu beef burgers were great. I think they're the best value for money because obviously you're getting Wagyu beef, but it's really, really a, you know, a premium burger. Again, huge. I think one burger between two is more than enough, especially with fries. But unbelievably, the fish and chips wins, hands down. The vegan fish and chips made from banana plant leaf. Unbelievable. I just think presentation, value for money, and also the feeling I had after eating it, having so much meat did upset our stomach the next day a little bit. Uh, whereas the fish and chips was really just light and delicious. So yeah, if you're coming to Bangkok and you start getting these targeted ads on Instagram, get your wallet out and try some of them because they're not cheap, but they're an interesting part of Thai culture in Bangkok especially. And by the way, Bangkok Fresh T-shirts, I just knocked over the tripod here, Bangkok Fresh T-shirts with Dreamy. There's a couple of designs actually that I've made. I'm gonna be wearing them on my adventures around the provinces and in Bangkok in the future. They're available in the description, so check it out if you fancy it. They are limited, there's only 50. So if you want to grab a limited edition Bangkok Fresh t-shirt, look at that, isn't that fantastic? Then, uh, yeah, check it out in the description. It is a great way to support the channel. And this tripod is really cheap and I can't, there we go. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in another adventure from Bangkok or a surrounding province very soon. Bye.